So in this video, um, I will be uh, discussing uh, section 2.1. So as I mentioned in class, chapter 2 is going to be dedicated to solving first order uh, differential equations um, where x0 and y0 are given real numbers. The goal today is going to be uh, to introduce uh, a method called the method of integrating factors. Now, we now know how to solve uh, differential equations of the form ay minus b, where a and b are real numbers. But what about something a little bit more general, such as um, t y is equal to um, 2t, for example, right? where the derivative is with respect to t. So in order to figure out how to solve something like this, let me um, look at the following example. OK, so let's take a look at this example. The left-hand side uh, of this guy, if, if we look at it carefully, actually we realize that it can be written in the following form. And this is because by the product rule, right, we take the derivative of the first guy, which happens to be 2ty, um, and then the derivative of the second guy, which is y, so it's going to be 4 plus t squared y prime, okay? And so that's exactly equal to the left-hand side of the equation, right? So in this case, um, I know I can just write, rewrite my differential equation in a form that I know how to solve, because I can indeed simply integrate, right? The antiderivative of the left-hand side is just going to be 4 plus t squared um, y. There's a constant, but I always write the constant on the right-hand side. The antiderivative of this guy is 2t squared, and then this constant incorporates uh, both constants, right? So y is equal to 2t squared plus some arbitrary constant. So just say constant, it's some real number uh, divided by 4 plus t squared. And of course, this is well defined as long as t, uh, actually, it's always well defined. Because we have a positive, the denominator is never going to be 0. Because t squared is always positive. So in fact, uh, we have a nice solution here, okay? Uh, now this is definitely a contrived example, right? But it gives us an idea of how we can solve more general problems, right? Remember that the, the nice thing here is that somehow I'm able to write this left-hand side in a more compact way so that I can simply um, integrate, right? So this is a more compact way. Now let us consider the most general uh, linear first order OEE, which is going to be of this form, where P and G are known functions. The idea behind the method of integrating factor is that you're going to take an unknown function t, which is positive, uh, and multiply equation y by mu of t, right? So we have mu y prime plus p of t y mu is equal to g mu. I'm just multiplying this equation by mu. Um, and mu is positive. 
And so in my ideal world, I would like to be able to rewrite this guy as uh, the time derivative of my function mu times y of t, okay? So that if this were true, then my differential equation would be uh, written in this form, which I actually know how to solve, right? So let's, let's actually do that. So in, imagine that this equality holds. Then I could just find the antiderivative of this guy, right? Uh, that's going to be mu of t, y of t is equal to um, the integral from t0 to t, uh, g of s, um, mu of s, ds, plus some constant, right? And in fact, I can actually now uh, solve for y. So I, in fact, have my solution. Because I'm assuming mu is not equal to 0. g of s, mu of s, ds plus c. So we can see here that if, um, if I know what mu is, right, then I actually have a solution. Now, the, the, the question is, well, how do I know that this equality holds, right? So the key is, if I take, if I expand this derivative out, right, I have mu y. This is mu prime y plus y prime mu. And I want this to equal this guy here. So I want this to equal mu y prime plus p y mu. Okay, now thankfully this guys equal each other out so we can cancel them and I end up with um, mu prime uh, equaling uh, p mu. Now because I could cancel the y's, right? Because y is clearly not, not equal to zero. I uh, should also mention that, of course, multiplying this by mu, something positive, is not going to change the solution set. So here's a way to find mu. Okay. Now to find mu, recall that we know that mu satisfies uh, p of t mu, which I actually know how to solve this differential equation. Remember, you just move the dependent variables to the left-hand side. And then I know that um, this is nothing more than the natural log of mu, p of t. And in fact, um, I know that this is just natural log of mu times um, the integral, the antiderivative of p of t plus a constant. Now, I'm just looking for any mu that works. So without loss of generality, we take c to be 0. And so mu of t actually is e to the integral of uh, p of s ds, the antiderivative of this guy. Okay, And remember y of t was 1 over mu of t. The integral, let's say from t0 to t, g of s, uh, mu of s, ds, plus a constant. So here is my solution. So this is a method of integrating factors, which we will get a chance to practice uh, Tuesday in class.